Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this triple pico border that I've made for this granny square blanket. As you can see, it is absolutely charming with these little triple, uh, I guess bumps, you'd probably call them, but they're picots um, all around the border. This is actually made with a round of half double crochet and then we're single crocheting and picoing into that round of half double crochet. So I'll quickly show you how to make the triple pico border for any of your work. Okay, so just a note on bordering. Imagine that I've already crocheted all the way along this square and I've come to the corner. All I've done here is attached, chained up two and put in one half double crochet. In your corner you have a chain three, you might have a chain two, uh, but certainly your corners need additional stitches to the rest of the to the sides. So what I like to do is put in three stitches and the reason I put in three is it's one for the side one for the corner and then one for the other side and that tends to get me around the corner quite nicely um, and of course you would simply crochet along in whatever stitch you're using to begin your first round of the border so certainly that three um, stitches in that corner will ensure that it doesn't sort of curl up and get all cranky about the fact that there's no stitches in there. So three stitches in each of your corners, always remember that and um, you know if your corners are larger than a chain three then adjust that, maybe put four but I tend to always put one for the side, one for the corner and one for the other side. So I have gone all the way around my square um, with my half double crochet as my initial round for the border. And for this tutorial, we are going to pretend that this is an entire blanket. <laughs> um, okay, so what I normally do is start a pico pretty much straight away. So how you do that is just go into your next stitch and single crochet and then chain three and then single crochet immediately back into that same stitch. Now that on its own is a pico but we're doing triple pico so we chain three again and single crochet back into that same stitch and then chain three again and single crochet back into that same stitch. And what that gives you is this lovely little three cusp design that just looks adorable. And a lot of people will actually block their picots. And you know what, it's not a bad idea. Um, however, if you are making quite a large blanket and you're bordering it, then you're gonna need an enormous blocking station. Uh, not everyone has that. If you find that your pico looks a little bit chunky because you're using the same size yarn as you did for your square, then maybe go down a yarn size. Um, certainly going down half a hook size helps and going down, because I've used 10 ply here, so it's a worsted weight, you know, number four sort of yarn. If I went down to eight ply, uh, then this would be less chunky. So now we need to round the corner. And after that, I just single crochet in the next five stitches. But of course, we're at a corner. So what I tend to do is put two in that corner, but that's my third stitch. And then we've got four and 
five and my fifth stitch is my next pico so again chain three single crochet into that same stitch chain three again single crochet back into that stitch and chain three one more time and single crochet back into the stitch so what we have there is two picots separated by a corner and then we would just single crochet five so one two three four and five and triple pico again out of that fourth oh sorry that fifth stitch so that's chain three single crochet back in chain three again single crochet back in chain three one more time and single crochet back in The Pico border is such a versatile little border and as you can see it's charming. It's not overly fancy, it just has a nice little touch of, I don't know what the word is, uh, adornment perhaps to the edge of your project. If you decide that these are too close together um, then single, cro single crochet five and pico in your sixth or single crochet six and pico in your seventh it is entirely up to you um, i think that the round of half double crochet um, is really necessary before you start the pico round simply because otherwise it can look a bit weird with just this round of sort of single crochets growing these these lumps um, at the moment when we've got the the half double crochet and the pico it really just looks like all one round together so entirely up to you what you do you might double crochet the round and then pico into that but whatever you do the pico is of course your last round so once again i'll show you one more time i single crochet five and then pico on my fifth two three, four, and five, and then chain three, one, two, three, single crochet back into that same stitch, chain three again, two, three, single crochet back into that same stitch, and chain three one more time, and single crochet to tie it down. And there we have our adorable little picots adorning the edge of my enormous blanket here. All right, I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you try the Pico. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down in the comments below and I will answer as best I can. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so and um, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye now.